Welcome to Tech Simplified, and my name is Sly Gittins, and today we're going to be diving into the AZ900, also known as the Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification. I'm going to be talking about the study guide that I carefully prepared um, and some of the training that I created to help you pass the certification on your first attempt. So make sure you watch this video to the end. First thing I need you to do is head over to sgtechsimp.com and get to the homepage and then click on access study guides. Then we're gonna go take a look. You can see I have quite a few study guides on my website already to take a look at. But for this one, let's take a look at the AZ900. Within the study guide, what you're gonna find is I'm gonna have free and paid training as well to help you pass the exam. So if you haven't taken a look at my previous AZ900 um, exam study prep, take a look at that too. It has over 10,000 views and you could be the next one and you can learn a lot. Um, also, you could take a look at um, the AZ900 learning path on Microsoft is a good place to get started. I find a lot of times it's not enough to pass the exam, but it's a good way to just to get the overview of what the exam was about. Right. I also go into a little bit more about how long if you wanted to take like Microsoft official instructor led training It goes into what you can expect for that. And the price tag is a little bit higher. I'm pretty sure it's like five hundred dollars, but you don't even need to do that. Go to Tech Simplify University and take a look at our course that we have on the AZ 900. And the best thing about it is only twenty five bucks, but it is a full end to end training. With the guide, with the training, you're definitely gonna pass. Next, you gotta have practice exams, right? I find the uh, Microsoft fundamental practice exams are pretty good. Measure up, mind hub, pretty good training. Exam topics also got some training, and even better, Microsoft even has some free sample questions. Way I look at study questions is get a gauge of what you know and what you don't know. I even urge you to take. Uh, a, a practice test before taking, I mean, before studying, just to see what you know um, and see how you do. Because you might find areas that where you're like, man, I don't need to study that because I got that down. But I might also need to study these other areas because it's some room for improvement to help me score really high on the exam, right? Next step is a, exactly who is this exam for, right? So the main thing is you got to have a baseline understanding of Azure, but this is good for someone who's brand new because it's going over, like it says, the fundamentals. But I do say you got to know some cloud of concepts. You will learn that in the training, especially the training that I deliver um, that goes over the basics. But again, come as you are and you can learn it. Uh, it might take a little bit longer to prepare for the class unless if you had some background, but that's with anything, right? Uh, what's the passing score? 700. Um, it's, don't think of it's, it's out of a thousand points, but 700 don't equal 70%. It's a different gauge, but 700 is where you need to be at to pass the exam. I know when I took it, I think I had about a 900 on the exam, so I missed a few of them. So I'm telling you, um, the study guide that I made, I've used it, it works. And I'll, to be honest, since my first video that I made, over a hundred people has passed the exam, right? With the study exam. So I mean, the study guide that I'm showing you today. So again, one thing I say, always have an up-to-date copy of the skill measured outline. That is the outline for the exam. Uh, what I did is I took that skill measure exam um, outline and then I took all the components and placed it in here. And what I did a little bit differently is each of the components that the test is on, I made sure to add hyperlinks to the Microsoft Learn site so you can learn that, you can read it. Um, I find sometimes when you're going through training, going back to that particular point can be challenging. So if you go through the training, you took your notes, you're having a good time, you took a practice test, you're like, man, Sly, I really want to know um, about describe the benefits of uh, the reliability and predictability in the cloud, right? Um, just go here, click it, read it, and you're all set, right? You don't got to scroll, get to a particular point in a video. You can read it. It's pretty quick, and that's how kind of I, I leverage it. And as you can see, that's everything you're going to need all in one spot. So why did I create this? Because what I found when I prepare for exams, I used to have all these disparate resources that took so much time to find out 
on where to go, what I need to do next. I didn't really have a flow, right? So what I end up doing is creating this guy to give me that pathway, right? You know, so, so I can have all my resources all in one area. I don't go anywhere else. I also made it a web page instead of a PDF because it's easy for me to update it to keep it fresh. One other thing that I would recommend if you have OneNote um, within your Office 365, open up a couple of tabs, create an AZ900, track all of your practice tests in there, some questions, pick your notes in there, it's fantastic. If you don't have um, OneNote within your Office 365, leverage a Google Docs, um, it's free. Um, you can leverage that just as you use OneNote. Um, I find OneNote to be a little bit more intuitive in terms of studying and prepping because you can put stars, you can have checklists, and you can drag files. You got there's a little bit more free range than the restriction in Google Drive. You can also use a tool called Asana. I used to use that back in the day, um, which is fantastic. I got a free version, but that's like a project management tool, more of a note-taking tool. You also can use Evernote. That's another one that's pretty good if people still use that um, to study here. But I gave you everything. Um, you will pass the exam with this study guide. Just got to follow it and it's going to work. So make sure you bookmark sgtechsimp.com because not only do I have these rock star study guides, I also have training and I'm building out the training curriculum as we go on. So you start seeing more and more training. We also have the Women in Tech series where I share information via um interview styles, right? It has a video version. It has a podcast version. And I'm talking to CEOs. I'm talking to authors. I'm talking to, um, you know, senior engineers, developers, um, tech people within, finance people within tech companies, um, business decision makers, um, cloud engineers, cloud solution architects, everyone there. And they're sharing the gems on how they succeeded within their business, in their career, and in their lives. Because I feel like not only do I need to educate you from the tech, you need to understand the soft skills. So we're going to have more training on that. So stay locked in to Tech Simplified. Make sure you subscribe. Share this with a friend because that's the only way I keep creating content is for people like you. So thank you so much and good luck on this exam and make sure you drop me a note on LinkedIn. I'm out. Peace.